Linus, the snake nest owner. He made a pact with the demon to save his kid. But the price, it was too high. It wasn't blood the demon truly wanted. The real feast would have been the emotional turmoil from this man's desperation. There's a key. We should see what else is here. How many did he kill? All for a demon. This was Atticus. Let's lock it. We can return it to Sabina. There. Much sturdier than the old one. Lara, do you own a bronze candle holder shaped like a fennec? I do. Did you see it? I found it in the library. I don't believe it was there when we went to bed. Oh, I just looked something up. The something sealed past. It's here. There's a strange twist in the thread of that magic. We were saying. Oh, I just looked something up before sleeping. It got a little late. If you're finding it difficult to rest in the lighthouse. Thanks, Professor, but I'm. Oh, I'm fine.
Trouble coming. Catacombs appear extensive indeed. Is that an elven statue? Sabina, 
You're back. But... Atticus... The man who took Atticus's life... He thought it would save his child. But it wasn't right. Atticus... If there's anything you need, I have friends here in Minrathus who can help. I don't... No. I need time and... To put his name on the Wall of Light. Thank you. At least for letting me know. I heard no gals poking around. Another Fenharel altar. Looks like another victim. Compassion. This one. Curiosity undimmed. Just one more answer. Truth and story beneath the ruins. Find who he was. I will find you then.
A dragon here? I never thought. You never think it will happen to you. The response was swift and short. Must credit that. I took a look at the archive spirit you recovered. What do you think of it, Professor? It's a work of art. Really? Concatenating so much knowledge into a stable vibration folded into the fade? Magnificent! I just wish I could get at that knowledge. Give yourself time, Valara. Property of Marcus, scholar. Story beneath the ruins. Fear for the future. And yet, he continued. For himself and for her. A faint connection begins to bind them. We must find the third. There, another champion. I see we've company. Come clear! Get clear!
champion at a time. Ready here. Every one of these gets us a little farther. We've a fight ahead. Professor Emmerich, I have a question about undead. Certainly. What do you wish to know about? The ritual of unbeing? Transference spells? Ghosts. I mean, that's what I want to know about. You mean spirits? Creatures of the Fade? Well, surely you know all about them. No, I mean ghosts. The kind that go, ooh, and knock things over. <sighs> Young majors do ask the complicated questions first.
charcoal drawings by someone named Evander. A world smudged in shadow. He drew Doctown's darkness, but also its light. All those I found, I held a hand as the light left. Do you know something about the murder victims? What connected them? Each was desperate. Each heard a whisper that tempted them, and each turned away. They defied the one who called them. The demons we saw were merely minions. Too late for these. But now I can watch and protect others. Something larger stirs, calling the desperate. I cannot see what. No, the hope you bring Dogtown thwarts it. And may you continue. Cat. Did Evander feed you? Usually have to dodge traps and fight spiders to see this much old elven stuff. Talk to Isabella if you want to sell any of it. She'll get you a good deal. Spoken like a veteran treasure hunter. Yep, for gold and glory. The lords make runs no one else can. Isabella's undies would catch fire if she saw all this. Bet you deal with a lot of nasty traps during those treasure hunts. Yep. What's the most complicated one you've dealt with? Old Elven Armory. Had letters on tiles. Probably supposed to spell out the name of a god or something. Probably? I don't read Elven. Found handholds in the ceiling and swung across. That sounds more like a puzzle than a trap. Ugh. Puzzles. Oh, but puzzles give you a chance to test your wits, to prove you're smart enough to beat whoever designed it. Ugh. I ran into one while traveling with Varric. It had these three poles with sets of different size rings on two of the poles. And you had to move the rings over to the third pole? And the rings had to be sized right and crap? Yes. You've seen it? That thing is Vashadon. So why do the Lords of Fortune care enough about dragons to have a dedicated dragon hunter? Lots of great old crap ends up in dragon hordes. Why do dragons care about gathering treasure? It's not like they go to the market. Dragons like metals and gems. Anything glittery catches their eye. So they're like really large magpies. Hmm. Kinda. And they live for centuries. Lots of time to gather a bunch of shiny crap. Plus, all the gear carried by idiots who thought they could kill a dragon. I'd appreciate it if you avoided fencing any of the elven artifacts, unless Bellara tells you it's okay. Don't worry about that. The Lords of Fortune aren't thieves. 
I mean, aren't you, though? Nah. Anything we hunt is salvage. Old forgotten ruins and crap. And we make sure we're not screwing over a culture that lost it. That's what my mother does with the Kunari stuff. We should do this again. Grab a drink, share our tallest tales. Okay, I was gonna go back to Ravane later. Got a thing to do for my mother. You can come along, if you want. Do I need to be ready for combat? Or traps? Nah. All right, just let me know when. You cannot do this, Algernon. You swore that we would give up our commands when this horrific war was over. Our people need our leadership. If you're unwilling, leave. Our people must rebuild, and we must help unite them. So, we did not fight for freedom, but to conquer this land and our own. We fought to win, and now the Evanuris are as gods. I do not answer to Mythal's annoying lapdog. The people are afraid. They must believe in something. They need strength. And wisdom. They need gods who can protect them. We are not gods. You will learn that. Every lapdog hides a wolf inside. That was strange. They were speaking Elvin, but I understood it. I believe we have experienced a memory in each of our native languages. Not just any memory. One of the Dread Wolves. And the mages who declared themselves my gods? Well, mine and Davrin's. And Rook's. They're not gods at all, much less my gods. I'm with Rook. All right, what else can we take from this memory? Elgrenon was hungry for power, did anything he could to get it and to hold on to it. Then Solus, furious at Elgrenon's installing himself as a despot, started his rebellion. There's another moving part in this, Mithal. She was keeping the peace. Mithal and Solus were close. The Inquisition found a temple to Mithal, and there were wolf statues everywhere. Then she sides with Elgernon over him, a betrayal. It sounded like Solus was loyal to Mithal, 
What did Elgernon call him? Mythal's lapdog? And then she grabs power alongside Elgernon instead of standing for her principles. I'd be angry too. Angry enough to start a rebellion? That's not how he'd see it. He didn't destroy the world. Elgernon did. Solus did what he considered necessary to stop him. Solus would try to justify what he did, but he'd also blame himself for what happened. Perhaps these murals aren't simply memories. They're what Solus wishes to forget. His regrets. That means they're a way to learn his weak points. Why are we worried about Solus? He's trapped. Right. But the Dread Wolf was the god of trickery. He's looking for a way out. Bet on it. Meanwhile, keep your eyes open in the crossroads. If there's a way to restore the rest of these murals, Solus would have kept it in his hideaway. It'd be nice to get inside his head for a change. Interested in visiting the Memorial Gardens? What are you up to? I must tend to some rites in the necropolis. I'd like to show you its more peaceful side. You heard of the Hall of Valor? It's a fighting arena with the Lords. Interesting. Just tell me when you're ready. Sorry, uh, didn't mean to interrupt. Please do. I need to hear an actual voice now and then. Can't imagine why. I'm starting to dream that I'm a griffin. Squawk. Keep dreaming. It's good to have goals in life. The real dream is getting him to take a nap. So what brings you by? Just curious, really. Wondering what it's like being a Grey Warden. They've always been these legendary warriors living apart from the world. Don't know about that. I spent time with people who were bad right up till they took their vow. How so? Weishaupt is the last stop for the wrong sort. If you're facing prison or worse, you can always join the Grey Wardens and take your chances with the Blight. And just how, uh, wrong are the wrong sort? Thieves, brigands, pirates, and the odd murderer now and then. Sounds fun, right up to the murdering. At least now they're murdering Darkspawn. Has your first warden always been, uh, well... A stubborn bastard? One way of putting it. He means well in his own way. He's old-fashioned. Tradition is everything. Keeps us disciplined. We never deviate from it. He'll have to. Elgernon and Gillanane won't play by his rules. If he even believes in them. The man doesn't have much imagination. Even the right sort can be the wrong sort. Uh, 
I've heard about Weishaupt. Never been there. It's a giant fortress, and home of the Grey Wardens. It's been standing for as long as anyone remembers. At least since the first Blight. Does it have floating buildings like the lighthouse? No, but things float up from the latrines. Fun bunch you hang out with. The wrong sort have their charm. A hot meal and warm bed in Weishaupt is better than rotting in some dungeon. It would be, but the food's always cold, and Weishaupt's drafty in the winter. You're really selling it. It gets better. When Darkspawn threaten a village, when innocent people are in danger, then we swoop in, swords held high, armor gleaming, while a hundred faces look to us for salvation. And they all live to see the sunrise because of what we do. <laughs> okay, now I get it. Best part is the warden fighting alongside you. Maybe they've done some bad things in the past. But after that day, it's different. There's some honor in their life where there wasn't before. Nothing like seeing redemption happen before your eyes. We all need that chance. Put past sins to right. It makes the Warden stronger to have people in our ranks who've lived in the shadows. When the storm comes, you don't want farmers and florists fighting archdemons. It takes the wrong sort to put the world right. Kind of like us, I suppose. Minus the skeleton butler. Oh, I don't know. Man for the Warden. Has a ring to it. <laughs> How about we quit while we're ahead? See you around. as you left it. Close enough. I think the caretaker's been tidying up. Rook, now's not the best time to chat. Let's talk later. Later, then.
Rook. Welcome to the Hosberg Wetlands. I'd say make yourself comfortable. This place is... Foreboding? Yes. Well, foreboding is normal here. But it's worse than usual. The Blight's always a problem in the Anderfels. It's not strange to find a corrupted patch of forest or swamp. What is strange is the sudden surge of Blight through the Hosberg wetlands. Much like the village you found, the Blight here struck too quickly and in strange forms. It's choked the whole area, and the local village, Lavendel, was caught in it. But they're survivors. We can be grateful for that. If there was a place that needed wardens... Then here we are. As far as we can tell, the gods you're chasing weren't here directly. If the Blight's really changed, then the changes are widespread. As for how much? I... I can almost sense something in there. Another sound under the Blight's usual song. Stories say wardens sense Blight. I never thought it was literal. It happens when you join the Order. But that's more than I should say. When we met, you tried to block the sound out. Now you hear too much. If it helps, that's what we're here for. Okay, this all sounds awful, and we're standing in the middle of it, which is normal for me. <laughs> for us too. So what's the plan? We heard rumors of the Surge here and volunteered to investigate. The First Warden expects a report. Soon. If we want proof the Blight's changed, then this place is where to find it. But the way the Blight left the village, we've had our hands full just keeping it back and helping the sick. You need more to study. Yes. The odd growths the Blight has formed, like boils, they surround Lavendel. I need more samples. So you two study the Blight? Formally? No. Well, maybe. It depends on your definition. We travel a lot, and tend to get sidetracked by weird problems. Who knew I'd roam so far for Morlaix? If we want to help, we need to learn what we're dealing with. Samples. That's going to be... gross. That's probably the best word for it. I'll give you something to contain the Blight. And watch for Darkspawn out there. Right. Darkspawn. Can't forget them. Good luck. <laughs> 